Feel like you're trapped in a financial maze with debts pouncing at every turn, overwhelmed, dangling from one credit card bill to another, sidestepping student loans like they're venomous snakes? What if you could bundle all these debts into one? Seems like a wish-granting genie in this financial chaos, doesn't it? Well, buckle up. We're slicing through the thicket to unravel the reality of debt consolidation. Debt consolidation. Sounds like a fancy finance term, doesn't it? Well, it's not as intimidating as it might seem. Let's unravel this mystery together. Imagine you're at a party, and you've got a handful of balloons, each one representing a different debt you owe. You've got your credit card debt balloon, your student loan balloon, your car loan balloon and so on. Each balloon is a different color, a different size, and they're all floating around at different heights. It's a bit of a chaotic scene, isn't it? Now suppose there's a way to tie all those balloons together into one big balloon. That's essentially what debt consolidation is all about. It's about taking all those separate debts, each with their own interest rates and payment schedules, and combining them into one single debt. You're essentially swapping your handful of balloons for one big balloon. So, how does this work in practice? Well, typically, you'd take out a new loan that's big enough to pay off all your existing debts. This new loan would have its own interest rate and payment schedule, but the key difference is that you're only dealing with one loan now, instead of several. You're no longer juggling multiple debts, you're focusing on one. But it's not just about simplicity. Debt consolidation can also be a strategic move. If the interest rate on your new loan is lower than the average interest rate on your old debts, you could end up paying less over time. That's like swapping your handful of balloons for one big balloon that's lighter and easier to carry. Of course, like any financial decision, debt consolidation isn't without its risks and challenges. It's not a magic bullet that will instantly solve all your debt problems. It's a tool, and like any tool, it's only effective if used wisely. So, debt consolidation is like a financial blender. You throw all your debts in and out comes one smooth monthly payment. But is it really as sweet as it sounds? Let's imagine you're sunbathing in the bright side of the debt consolidation beach. Picture this. You've traded in your multiple high-interest debts for a single manageable loan. Ah, the serenity. First up, we have the potential for lower interest rates. It's like going from a sunburn to a gentle tan. If you're juggling various debts with high interest rates, debt consolidation can be your aloe vera, soothing that financial burn by potentially offering a lower overall interest rate. This means you're paying less over the lifespan of your loan. It's like getting a beachfront spot without the premium price tag. Next we have simpler budgeting. Imagine having a beach bag full of different sunscreens, each with a different SPF application time and reapplication schedule. It's complicated, right? Now imagine having just one sunscreen that does it all. That's what debt consolidation does to your budget. Instead of keeping track of different loans with varying interest rates and due dates, you have one monthly payment to remember. It's a financial SPF all in one. Lastly, we've got potential credit score benefits. When you're on a beach, you want to look your best, right? Similarly, in the financial world, you want your credit score to look as appealing as possible. Consolidating your debt can help with that. As you pay off your consolidated loan on time, you demonstrate to lenders that you're responsible and trustworthy. Over time, this can lead to an improved credit score making you more attractive to future lenders. It's like having the perfect beach body, but for your finances. Seems like a pretty great deal, right? But hold on to your sun hats, folks. There's always a storm brewing. Sure, the bright side of debt consolidation looks alluring, but remember, every beach has its share of jellyfish and rip currents. So, before you dive in, make sure you understand the potential drawbacks and risks. After all, even the most experienced swimmers check the water conditions before taking the plunge. Welcome to the dark side of debt consolidation. It's not as scary as it sounds, but it's definitely not a beach party either. Now let's talk about some of the potential pitfalls that come with debt consolidation. First up, we have the temptation to rack up more debt. When you consolidate your debts, all of your smaller loans are combined into one big loan. This can give you the illusion of having less debt, which might lead you to believe you have extra money to spend. In reality, you're just rearranging your debt, not eliminating it. It's like trying to lose weight by moving the fat around your body. You might look different, but the scale isn't fooled. Next we have potential fees. Debt consolidation often comes with a price tag. This could be in the form of origination fees, balance transfer fees, or annual fees. It's easy to overlook these costs when you're focused on the promise of lower monthly payments or reduced interest rates. But remember there's no such thing as a free lunch, or in this case, a free loan. These fees can add up and eat into the savings you were hoping to achieve. 
It's like buying a discounted ticket to a concert, only to find out you have to pay an extra fee for each song you want to hear. Not exactly the deal you thought you were getting, right? Now let's move on to the risk of losing collateral in secured loans. Some debt consolidation loans are secured, meaning you have to put up something of value as collateral. This could be your house, your car, or your collection of rare comic books. If you default on the loan, you could lose that collateral. It's like betting your prized baseball card on a game of poker. You might win big, but if you lose, you're not just out of the game, you're out of a baseball card. Finally, let's not forget about the impact on your credit score. Applying for a new loan to consolidate your debts can result in a hard inquiry on your credit report, which can lower your score. Plus, if the consolidated loan has a higher balance than your previous individual loans, it could increase your credit utilization ratio, which can also negatively impact your score. It's like getting a new credit card to improve your credit, only to max it out on the first day. Not the best strategy, right? So, debt consolidation isn't the financial fairy godmother it may first appear to be. But don't despair, knowledge is power. And now that you're armed with this information, you can make a more informed decision about whether debt consolidation is the right move for you. Remember the dark side isn't always the wrong side, sometimes it's just the side with the most lessons to learn. So, should you consolidate your debts or keep them as they are like a collection of financial souvenirs? Well let's rewind for a moment. In the previous scenes we've taken a journey through the pros and cons of debt consolidation. To recap, on one hand we have the allure of simplicity. Debt consolidation can streamline multiple payments into a single one potentially with a lower interest rate. That's like trading in a swarm of annoying mosquitoes for one big manageable mosquito, with slightly less bite. On the other hand we've explored the dark side. Consolidating debts often means extending the repayment period. Yes, you've got more time but also more interest to pay. It's like a long drawn out dinner with an X. Sure the conversation might be easier but you're still paying for it. So, what's the verdict? Well it's not a one-size-fits-all answer. Your decision should be as unique as your fingerprint or your coffee order. It depends on your financial situation, your debt levels, your discipline in making payments, and your tolerance for mosquitoes. I mean debt. The key is to weigh the benefits against the drawbacks. Consider your own circumstances and take advice from trusted financial advisors. And remember, debt consolidation isn't a magic wand. It won't make your debts disappear, but it can make them more manageable. Remember, in the financial jungle the best weapon is information. We've survived the financial jungle together, and learned a thing or two about debt consolidation. Sometimes it feels like we've been wrestling debt alligators and interest rate pythons, doesn't it? But remember, knowledge is our machete to cut through this financial wilderness. Never stop learning my friends, arm yourselves with the wisdom of personal finance. Debt consolidation is just one beast in this jungle. There are many more to understand, credit scores, investment strategies, taxation and so forth. Each decision you make should be informed, deliberate and strategic. Think of your financial journey as a safari. It might be intimidating, even scary sometimes, but oh the thrill of it. The satisfaction when you finally tame that wild debt beast, when you see your savings grow, when you achieve your financial goals, that's the real adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom, Together, we can conquer the financial jungle.